Fernando Paiva, Hitchhiking Stars, and today we're going to be looking at the full moon happening on the 3rd of July 2023 in the sign of Capricorn. So we have a full moon happening at 11 degrees Capricorn, and this one is, is a curious uh, full moon because Traditionally, we would think that the, the moon in the sign in the, in the sign of Capricorn isn't really very strong, and yet um, I have a very positive feeling about this full moon. One of the key words that comes to mind as I look at the chart of the full moon, so the moment that this full moon will be happening, is learning. Even though this isn't a full moon in the sign of Sagittarius and Gemini, the traditional signs that we think about learning. But this one in particular has a strong connotation of um, learning, get, gaining a perspective. And, um, and I think this also relates to the fact that it's a full moon, so a combination. Something becomes clear. Something becomes um, highlighted and, and illuminated in our lives. But not only that, there are a few aspects that this, um, that this full moon will be making which I think enhances this feeling that I'm having, that this is about learning and integrating what we learn as well. And, and also, I want to also make it clear, and again, thinking about the Gemini and the Sagittarius signs that we usually connect with learning, they are learning on a more intellectual, intuitive sort of side. When we think about the fire and the air signs, here with the Capricorn and the Earth, I am thinking in a more um, lived experience type of learning. Something about our lives and the experiences that we acquire. And a more embodied type of learning as well. Also, uh, there is a resonance between Capricorn and forests. And I like to think about the imagery of the forest here as well when I look at this full moon. So the learning that comes from nature and from... You know, when we think and when we see the imagery, when we picture a forest, the majority of beings are trees. So nature is the majority. Whereas when we're walking in a park in a city, the city is still the majority in terms of, of the energy. So something about the energy of nature that's also connected with the learning, the potential learning for this full moon on the 3rd of July. And I want to tell you why as well. So you know how much I like to look at the Sabian symbols for the um, for the full moons and the new moons when we're talking about it here. And the Sabian symbol for um, 11 degrees Capricorn, which is where this full moon is going to be happening, is a student of nature lecturing, revealing little known aspects of life. So there's something about learning again. And, and I loved it when I saw this because, because the main aspects of this moon, this full moon is, is making again really relates to learning. And I'll get there as well. But there is something about, um, observing things that other people miss with this full moon. And we can apply that to our lives as well and think about places and things that, that we're, you know, other people are missing. Or even for each other, you know, full moons also have that because we're thinking about an opposition is when the sun and the moon are in opposition. We can also think about relationships when we can see something that the other person cannot see and vice versa. But there is something about observing and learning from our situation. And because we're thinking, you know, because this is primordially <laughs> is primarily focusing on earth and water, there is a feeling of introversion as well with the process. So more than like rushing into speaking up and, um, you know, communicating or doing something like that, I think we need to feel this knowledge. So, so the sense of something being revealed to us during this full moon is very powerful. And um, so coming... Well, thinking about this revelation as well, I like to mention that um, the emotions that are connected with that is wonder and awe in a positive um, 
focusing on a positive side of what can come up from it. So this real um, awakening and and desire to learn more, to see things being revealed to us a little bit more. So I would say it's a wonderful for me to be in nature and to really embrace this revelation, let's put it that way. So so the, the main aspects that the moon, the full moon will be making, and I think it really reflects what the Sabian symbol is, you know, talking about, the sense of learning and having something revealed to us about life. Yeah, it's something larger is about life. So the moon is forming a trine, so 120 degrees with Jupiter. So Jupiter is in Taurus. So the full moon will be trining that Jupiter in Taurus. Jupiter, the largest planet of uh, the solar system, represents growth, expansion, uh, having a larger perspective as well on things. So that moon trying Jupiter really is reflective of this learning process and this sense of something being revealed about life. And because Jupiter is in Taurus, again, is an emphasis on Earth. It's our connection to nature, our connection to life cycles, to the natural beauty of everything as well. So so we can sort of relax into that side of life during this full moon or do rituals in nature. Go out if we can, if it's possible, really, uh, and bask into this possibility of having those insights. Um, there is a tendency to be more generous as well when we have Jupiter uh, involved and that trine with the moon could be reflective of a of a potential for uh, generosity. Uh, practicing gratitude will be a great shout for this full moon as well. Listing all the things that we are very grateful for, and I know that Capricorn are usually is usually connected with work ambitions and the goals and the things that we want to achieve but we can use this full moon to be grateful for the things that we've achieved already the for for the place that we find ourselves in our lives right now so how far and how much did you have to fight to be where you are how much did you have to study to learn how much work you had to put and even if it's a personal work that we're talking about because I know how devalued the, the personal work that we do can be in our society. And sometimes we're doing so much work internally with ourselves. And it looks like we're not really doing anything from, from someone else's perspective. But there's so much going on inside us. So this whole moon could be a great time to acknowledge that work. To acknowledge what you've been doing so far, where you are. And to potentially have a vision as well, have something revealed, an aspect of your life, going back again to that Sabian symbol, have an aspect of life revealed to you where you want to go, where could you be as well. Think about potentials. I think the moon trying Jupiter really can give us a sense of vision as well. What could be achieved? What could be achievable as well? Dream big with that, even though Capricorn isn't about dreaming, but it's about, it's about wanting something. It's about having a goal. So we can, we, our goals can be revealed as well. This is another case. So if you're feeling you, you, you're lacking direction, this full moon could help you to have a stronger sense of direction, to have a sense of direction revealed to you. What's important to you? Where do you want to go left? Do you want to go right? Do you want to go straight? What is it that you need to do? What is the next step that you need to do? This could also be part of the revelation of this full moon. So that trine with the Jupiter, for me, has a very warm feeling. And is very appreciative of nature. So again, go out in nature, buy yourself flowers, do something that will bring you closer to the natural world and to natural beauty as well, because that could be conducive to the revelation, to the, to the, to the aspects of life that can be revealed to you during this full moon. 
The second aspect that the moon is doing is a sextile to Saturn. So Saturn in Pisces, a seven degrees Pisces retrograde, and the moon is forming a sextile to it. So the sun is forming a trine to that Saturn. And this is the ruler of the moon. So Saturn is ruling that moon, is forming that sextile. And the sun and Mercury in Cancer is also ruled by that moon. So that moon has some power. So the sextile with Saturn for me reinforces the Capricornian energy, but in a flowy relationship, in a in a harmonious relationship, because it's a sextile that we're talking about. So there is a hidden gift that the sextile represents. And again, for me, not only we can have the revelation of a goal or the revelation of all the things we've achieved or, you know, something or some news, even something could come up and we could find out or, you know, some, some message that we could get. But also the, the, the sense of session goals that are achievable. I think the Saturn and the Capricorn is like, it's not only, it's not about dreaming and dreaming big in the sense of dreaming something that's highly unlikely to happen or highly unlikely that we're going to be able to do it, but something that we can actually achieve. And there's so much importance and power in setting goals that are actually realistic. Setting realistic goals are a skill in itself. And this full moon is the planetary movements here, the planetary configuration of this full moon is revealing that we can do that. That there is greater potential for us to set achievable goals, realistic goals, something that we can really do, something that we can have the discipline and the, and the, the ability to follow through with it. And in that way, develop our own sense of trust in ourselves, our own sense of self-respect as well. And this is all of the Capricorn and the Saturn. It's important to do something, to say that we're going to do and do it. And that increases our sense of self-respect and our sense of self-trust as well. So we stop abandoning ourselves in situations, doing things that we really don't want to do or that's meaningless to us and so so there is a there is a sense with this full moon that the revelation could help us to be stronger to be more solid within ourselves and to be more grounded as well and more appreciative if we take that route as well i think that would be a great um a great activity to do during this full moon or at least to embrace and do it as well as other things that you have in mind to do. The last aspect that I want to share with you here that will be happening during this full moon is an underlining um, energy. And it has it's very different and it doesn't really it's not really connected to the full moon itself, but it's happening at the time of the full moon and is Venus square Uranus. So planet Venus will be forming a 90 degrees to Uranus. And that's an important one because it will happen a few times. Because July is when Venus goes retrograde. And we're going to have to be reviewing, rethinking, reassessing all Venus-related things. So relationships, self-worth, money, values, all of those are going to be under the spotlight during um, for a couple of months, really, when the Venus is going retrograde. And at the moment of the full moon, with this square between Venus and Uranus, we're going to be challenged to be more authentic in our values, in our relationships, in our sense of worth as well. Are we giving enough space and taking enough space in our relationships? Are we expressing ourselves authentically? How is that going? So this is going to be an underlying, an underlying flavor during this full moon. So that's it. This is all I had to say. I'm wishing you a wonderful, empowering and inspiring full moon. And I'll be talking to you all soon. Bye bye now.